Now we're going to talk about reading and listening settings. Now that you've checked out a book, you have the option to read or listen to it within the Libby app. In order to read on the Libby app, when you're in your shelf, tap on the book cover picture or read with, if it's your first time borrowing, uh, note that if there is no Kindle version of the book available, rather than read with, the text will read open in Libby. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe when it's on the website, um, it'll, you can have the, sorry. Oh, maybe when it's on the website, um, you can turn the volume up and have the captioning on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You'll be given the option to read with your Kindle or read within the Libby app. Tap on Libby and we'll go over the steps. We already actually went over the steps for the Kindle readers. So what? Oh, over there on the side. Yeah, if you choose the, um, the that's just telling you the formats that that particular title is in. If you choose those EPUB and P, I'm sorry, is it PDF, yeah. that will open within the, that same app. And the bottom one, Media Do, is, is not, is for, it's usually just for like graphic novels and things. But choosing either EPUB or PDF will open it in the, the Libby app as well. Once you've chosen Libby, the book will open within the app. Some books open automatically to chapter one, but others may start with the book cover or the table of contents. To go to the next page, you wanna tap the right side of the screen. To go back a page, you can tap on the left side of the screen. You can also swipe to the left to go forward or to the right to go back. So almost like you're turning a page. There are different settings that you can change, including the text size, the font, and the background color. To access these settings, you want to tap right in the middle of the page. Once you do that, you'll see that screen will come up that's on the, the right-hand side. Tapping the letter A icon will bring up reading settings, including text size, background color, and font. You can slide the bar left or right to increase the, the text size. If you would like an even bigger text, uh, check that there's a little accessibility I right underneath, and that will give you even more um, text size options. Lightning, uh, lighting will change the background color and text color. Bright is the default, which is a white background with black text. Sepia is tan colored and dark is a black background with white text. So you can choose whatever it works best for your um, for yourself. If you are if you scroll down, you can also change the font as well. Um, that's probably by default it it picks the publisher's default, um, but you can also use one of the other fonts um, if you need that those kind of options as well. The magnifying glass that's up on the top right will allow you to search within the book. This may come in handy. For example, if you are looking for when a certain character appeared, or if you remember a phrase being said, it will search throughout the book and display the results you can see on the um, right-hand side. I've used that a bunch of times. I'm like, didn't that person say something about this? And you search for it and it comes up, it's pretty, pretty neat. The, the bookmark and book, the bookmark and the bookmarks icon, you can use the bookmark icon to save a particular spot in the book for re easy reference later. You can access any saved bookmarks by tapping on the bookmarks icon. So this is like in a, in a physical book, you might put a post-it if you wanna come back to it later. Um, this is an easy way to do that by bookmarking the smaller one. And then if you wanna go back to it later, you can access it that way. Left of the, the book cover page in the center, um, you will contain your progress in the book. It, it defaults to page number. If you tap on the page number, um, it will change to the percentage that you're done with the book. The page number to the far left will take you to the beginning of the current chapter. The page number on the far right will take you to the beginning of the next chapter. Tapping the finger icon on the bottom right 
will take you back to your, on the bottom left, I'm sorry, will take you back to your previous spot if you went to another chapter or did a search. So that's the easiest way to just get back to your previous where you just were. Tapping on the table of contents will bring up the table of contents and allow you to easily skip ahead or back to a particular chapter. The center bar with the lines shows your progress in the book, along with any bookmarks or highlights that you've made. The darker black lines are chapter breaks. You can also skip forward or back by dragging that bar to the right or left. It's an easy way if you're at the end and you wanna go back to the beginning or to a particular spot, um, that'll scroll really fast through the book. The fingerprint uh, icon on the bottom right shows recently recent locations that you visited in the book. So that's if you did a search or you did a bookmark or you skipped to a chapter, it will show a whole list of everything by tapping on that fingerprint icon. If you hold down your finger and drag it across text, you can highlight a passage or a word that can be accessed later in the bookmark section. You can choose which color you'd like it to be highlighted. Highlighting a single word will give you the option to look up its definition by choosing define. You can also search for the word or phrase that you have highlighted by tapping search within book. An audiobook is opened in the same way as an ebook. Audiobooks can be opened in the loan section of your shelf. There is, there is only the option to listen to audiobooks in the Libby app itself you will see the total length underneath the cover. So this particular book is nine hours. If you tap on open audiobook, it will open the book and it will start playing automatically. Your progress will be saved when you close out of an audiobook and reopen the app. So if you, if you wanna stop at a particular point, you can just pause it and close the app, you go back to it, it's right in the same spot. You can also see your listening progress underneath the due date. So you can see this one, I've listened to 5% of that book so far. The speedometer icon up on the top uh, allows you to change the speed of the audio. This allows you to slow down or speed it up. You can use the slider to change the speed. So say um, the, the narrator is talking too slow or too fast for you, you can change the speed of their voice uh, by using this feature. The moon, the, the moon icon up on top is a sleep timer. This will set the audiobook to stop playing after the specified amount of time. So if you wanna fall asleep listening to a book, but you don't want it to keep playing, you can say, oh, stop playing after 10 minutes or, or longer, whatever duration that you pick. The bookmark and bookmark icon work in the same way as eBooks. You can bookmark a specific spot in the audiobook. To access saved bookmarks, you can tap on the bookmarks icon. On the upper left, you can see how much time you have spent listening so far. And on the right side, you can see how much time is left in the book. In the middle, there is the percentage of how much of the book you have listened to so far. In the center, there are audio controls. There is a play and pause button, that's the triangle. Um, you also have the option to skip back or ahead 15 seconds. So, oh, what did that person say? You just hit the, the back 15 seconds button and you can uh, rewind a little bit. Underneath the play pause button, you can tap to see the table of contents, which allows you to skip forward or back. The number on the far left allows you to go back to the beginning of the current chapter. It also has the time, the time that is in that chapter so far. So, so far we've listened to 24 minutes of that chapter. The number of, on the right will take you to the next chapter, the beginning of the next chapter. You can drag the bottom bar to navigate back or ahead in the book. If you were browsing back or ahead in the book, the fingerprint icon will take you back to your previous location. If you have skipped around to different parts of the book, your location history will appear when you tap the fingerprint icon. The number will show how many locations you've skipped around to in the book. I don't know if you can see that, but that is, there's a little three next to that. So I've skipped around three times in this book. 
Any questions about reading or listening to books? So in the overdrive, I download audio books to my MP3. No, unfortunately, they took that away. The only way to do it is with with the Libby app to listen within the app, or on a web on the website. You can also listen to it that way. Can I go out the bar? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, they they took away that particular feature. Um, that's in the reading set, uh, settings. Let me just uh, let me skip back to that part. Uh, yeah. Okay. So no, that's not it. There we go. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, this is the section where the, so if you tap in the middle of the page of the book that's open, that's the book that you'll see this screen. And then up on the top, on the, on the right-hand side, there's a little A. I don't know if you see that. So the, the A, yeah, the A, um, and then that will bring up that screen on the right. Um, and you see where it says text scale. There's a slider on that text scale, and you can slide it back and forth to make the text bigger or smaller. And under that slider, there's it's like it looks like a little button to can push back and forth. If you push it, it goes to the next level. Then it goes to the that I figured out. <laughs> Any other questions about um, reading? We have one more section left, so we're almost done. We're just gonna talk about the settings at the end. Any more questions about reading or listening? Um, 